Number 33, letter A. Of what material is a wire made if it is 25 meters long with a 0.1 millimeter diameter and has a resistance of 77 ohms, all right, at 20 degrees Celsius? All right, so why don't we just write down what they give us, right? The 25 meters, it's telling us a length, right? So L is going to be 25 meters. They're also telling us a diameter, right? And we remember from other questions now um, that, you know, if they're telling us a diameter, they will probably be using radius or we'll need an area of sorts, okay? So let's just keep that in mind that the diameter here is going to be 0 0.100 millimeters. And, you know, we, well, first issue, it's in millimeters. So we need that in meters, right? So we just have to multiply that by one over a thousand or essentially divide that by a thousand, however you want to think about it. I can just also just simply just multiply that by 10 to the minus three, right? That's the same thing. That would be in meters. And now, wait a minute. Oh, darn it. That's the diameter. Uh, what happens if we need to find the radius? Well, the radius is just half, right, of that diameter. So simply just take this and divide it by two, right? Half of 0.1 is going to be 0 0.05. And then just leave that exponent alone, 0 0.05 times 10 to the minus 3 meters, right? That's how you can kind of do it all in your head there. And then you can rework this if you wanted to move that decimal on over. All right, two spots, right? If you move it 2 to the right, then we got to decrease this by 2, essentially. So it would be 10 to the minus 5. So doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But let's keep that there. All right. And then uh, it tells us a resistance. So it's 77.7 .7 ohms. And they tell us at what temperature. Now, the reason why they tell us at what temperature is because the resistance of an object could change if the temperature changes. And we know that from doing prior problems as well. But also, if we look at this formula, right? So first is we're looking at these variables and we're like, well, we're dealing with length, we're dealing with a radius, we're dealing with a resistance. How are these related? Well, via this formula, right? The resistance of an object will be equal to its resistivity multiplied by the length of the wire, the length of the object divided by the cross-sectional area of that wire, right? Or the object. What defines then uh, the element is going to be its resistivity. Basically every single, you know, every different element of what the wire would be made out of well, has a different resistivity. Okay, so this is what's going to define the particular item. And if we notice, well, wait, that's what they're asking us, right? Of what material is a wire made? Basically, if we find the resistivity of it, which is a, right, essentially a unique number, um, by the way, that unique number is measured at 20 degrees Celsius. That's why they're telling it to us, because the resistivity uh, will change if the temperature changes. Um, and that number, again, will be unique to whatever the wire is made out of. So essentially, if I find the resistivity, I can just look it up and then figure it out. So figure out what the material is. So if I needed to solve this now, right, for um, a resistivity, right, we can do this little trick I've been using now for quite a while, right? Essentially, this is really, right, R over, over 1. But forget about the 1 there for right now, just R over something. And I got to move all the other elements away from rho, right, from the resistivity. So I can just bring it across and bring that across. Okay, you got to move diagonally. That's cross multiplication. Look here, see how see how easy that is. Doesn't look that nice, but that's what it is. So essentially, it's the cross sectional area multiplied by the, by the resistance divided by the length. <coughs> so let's get to it. The cross sectional area is this wire a circle? Does it say? Well, no, but it tells us the diameter. So hopefully, they're not telling us the diameter of a square because that would um, be strange. So this would be pi times the radius squared, right? Pi r squared, that's the formula for area of a circle. So the radius we found, oh, there it is, 0 0.05 times 10 to the minus three, multiplied by the resistance then, which is going to be 77.7, .7, all then divided by the length, which was 25, oops, 25 meters. And that's gonna be equal to my resistivity. So let's calculate, so ready? Bada bing, bada boom, pi times 0 0.05 times 10 to the minus 3. <gasps> Andrew, what are you doing? Q squared, squared. I almost said cubed. Right? Don't forget to square it. Squared. And then multiplied by 77.7. .7, divided them by 25. We're all human. We all make mistakes. But hopefully we'll catch them. But we're all human. We can't catch everything. 
and then that'll be multiplied by 10 to the minus 8, okay? And that is the value of the resistivity, all right? So uh, if you needed, write the units, you can figure that out um, if, if you needed, okay? Basically, it's going to be ohm meter. I don't know why I wrote mu. Ohm meters, okay? You can just, you know, meter squared, ohms, meters, you know. There you go, all right? Now we look this up. This is the resistivity of what? Turns out to be the resistivity of gold. 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 All right. So um, that's that. So it's gold. All right. Now let's erase all this. Okay. So it's gold. Now what are they asking? Now that we know it's gold, they said, now what is the resistance at 150 degrees Celsius? So now we have to understand the fact that, well, if it was originally at 20, and now it's going to 50, 150, and we're being asked to calculate it's essentially new resistance, oh, we probably need the alpha value, right? Because remember, I can use this formula that the final resistance is equal to the initial resistance of the object times one plus my, co my temperature coefficient alpha, multiplied then by the change in temperature, okay? So the initial temperature then we need to know, I'll write it down on the left-hand side, is going to simply be 20, Right, the final then, it went up to 150. And the alpha value for gold, we'd look it up. It's simple, 3.4 times 10 to the minus 3. All right, so let's solve it, right? Let's solve for the final resistance now. So the initial they told us was 77.7 .7 times 1 plus my alpha of 3.4 times 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by that change in temperature. So the final was 150 minus the initial, which was tw uh, 20. And there we go. We take out our handy dandy calculator. And this is nice, right? Hopefully the test goes this easy. But who are we kidding, right? Who are we kidding? That ain't gonna happen. So difference there is 130 between the temperature, multiply that by 3.4 times 10 to the minus three. Take one and add it to it. And then multiply that bad boy by 77.7. .7. It looks like we get a resistance now of one, one, two, 112 ohms, ohms 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 guys thank you very much for tuning in all right i appreciate it please remember to help us out and subscribe if you can and i look forward to helping you with more problems be well